boy. Oh, pump the music. Oh, come on, get the music pumping. Come on, pump the music. Go oh, low, low, we're late, we're late. Oh, come on, pump the music. Pump the music. Oh. Pump the music. Pump the music. Pump the music. My wife can take my wife can take my wife and take my, wife and make my, my cable management. I have to work on my cable management. Go pump. Pump. Oh, ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Skeleton Realm Live, episode 103. It's Wednesday. It is 8 uh, 33. Dude, that's crazy. That's oh. probably the most late we've ever been. Yikes. Oh, my God. This is awesome. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Ooh, my camera. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, we're super duper late. I'm so sorry that we're super freaking late, but welcome to the show tonight. It's Wednesday. Woo! Claps on the chat for Wednesday. Let's go, guys. Pump me. <laughs> Claps on the chat. He's fixing the camera. Well, my camera's kind of weird, too, but it's fine. You know, you'd think being half an hour late, guys, we'd have all the cameras set up just the oh, way no, we wanted. Oh, no, it's the opposite. But it's the opposite, That's isn't it? Yeah. The later we are, we're the... really screwing it up. Curse oh, word detected. Oh, yeah, your camera's a little crooked. Mine's a little weird wide. Yeah, there's a gap in the curtain. Oh, God. Okay, well, just go to my camera and get... Okay, that's fine. The gap's good. Is mine okay? Fix mine. Is it kind of crooked? Is it... Okay, if you could go to mine, hit mine. Okay, see how that's a weird... It needs to be like... Is that right? Guys, what's wrong with that angle? Is that, is that okay? No, that's probably fine. We'll live with it like that, right? That's fine. Can we live with it like that? This is... The lighting feels off, too. What's going on with it? Finn Perez says you... You can lead a Sam to hush, but you can't make him grovulate. Thank you, uh, Fenton. Well, that's said. very kind of you. And Fenton is the first contestant tonight. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna that's good. Let's that's do it much now. better. Let's do it now. I didn't want to I didn't want to announce this too early in the show, but guys, Shane B last week really really uh, inspired us. Oh, good man. Oh, oh. And some of the key realmers are probably understanding where I'm going with this. If you remember being here last week, and some of the, what Shane B did in the chat. <laughs> Some of the key realmers are probably remembering what Shane B did. Um, pop quiz. What did Shane B do last week that was so sweet cool? Steak. He did a sweepstakes. That was really cool. So, guys, tonight we're going to do it ourselves. We're going to say every super chat tonight enters you into a raffle that at the end of the show will be drawn for a free Skeleton Realm Mud Mug. Look at that, guys. You're going to get one of these in the mail. You just contact us on Discord. And we'll send you one of these for free to your address. You'll be a proud new owner of a Skeleton Realm Mud Mug. So every super chat puts you in the running. How cool is that? Woo! Oh, can it be signed? Absolutely. We're going to... No, actually, no, it can't. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. Uh, I mean, no, it can't. should we? Uh, should... Eh, no, we can't. We can't. How about we sweeten the deal? Um, is how much... We'll, is... we'll think about it. You might, you may or may not get a mystery surprise. We're going to do this every week, and it's going to change and get more sophisticated every <laughs> yeah, week. Yeah, so this is the undersophisticated version of that. Including because we're... Jimmy B, who's in the running for one of the holly. We're going to calculate the winners by hand, and that's going to be unsophisticated. But soon it's going to be uh, all kinds of exciting uh, ways to... Pop me! You just showed my drink! <laughs> you showed my soda! Sorry, my camera's... Hush! Hush! Camera's dark. You showed my soda! Dude, mine was too. What's going on? I'll show my soda. All oh, the lights are weird and they're dark. Why are we dorking? We were we were not First here. Detected. We were not here for most of the night. It's like a solar eclipse happened inside the studio, oh, right? Don't right? mention right? that. Right? Right? You are dark. Right? Look at that. You are dark. Look at that. You got a tan. Uh, maybe I was looking at the sun too long before the moon went in front of it. I Fix that you. now! Fix it now! Okay, one Fix sec. it now! So, <laughs> so many super chats! Oh my god! Luke says, holy crapoli! Curse word detected. The Fallout says, 1100 says, mud mug for my boote cheeks, mud m mug Curse mud. Curse word detected. Felix says, you'd have to retroactively sign killing it. Huh? Yeah, we could do some sort of virtual signing event on Zoom, maybe? No, every week will be different, but... We could do a virtual signing event where week. we sign the... Trash image says, anti-Dracula syrup is not working. Vampires in the house, oh. vampires in the room right now, yeah. That's tough trash, and I've been there for sure. Cheers, Doug. Dwartard says, wow, that is crazy. The Destroyer 98 says, where's my soda? Bute Cheek says, thanks for the opportunity, Doug and Sam. Absolutely, Bute. Ow, my Cheers. Tooth. I hit my tooth on the glass. Oh, gosh, I've done that before. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, gosh, I've done that before. <laughs> oh, gosh, I've done that before. You have. So, guys, 
<laughs> what an incredible show we got tonight. Spruce says, I'm winning me a mud mug, mug mama. Woo! We've got just an incredible show tonight. Uh, some really great guests, some really, really stellar segments we've got planned for you. Some of the news that went on. Guys, last week felt like an eternity because so much cool stuff happened, right? Yes. And everything we're talking about in the show tonight happened between last week and today. Correct. And that's crazy because we have a show full of guests, full of segments, and all of that stuff. Yang, yang. What happened to the lights in here? I don't know. Point that one to you. I had moved them. Guys, after the show, we do Pater's Podcast every week, which you can get to access to on the Patreon for $5 a month. But we do it right over there in our separate Pater studio. And I did move the lights last week, and so that is why we're having problems. Uh, oh a little bit of this. <laughs> Tyler bit. says, Tyler Jones says, uh, Doug is bringing that town loon energy. Let's go, Tyler. Town Absolutely. Loon. <laughs> I am the town loon here in Atlanta. Nicholas says, thanks for the great idea, Shane. Thank you, Shane. That's right. And Shane is our newest. This is big, too. I came to, I was over at the studio today. And this is actually, here. how about this for some incredible coincidence here? Just the beauty of these, this incredible coincidence. I was parked in my car waiting to come into the studio. And of course, I parked my car right in front of the studio waiting to come in. But I don't come in yet. I always wait for Sam, but I'm always a little bit earlier than him, and that's okay. Because my schedule allows me to get here a little bit earlier, probably five, ten minutes. So you're give me a punctual guy, too. So you're, give me a hand. Uh, you're a punctual guy. But anyway, I park right out front, and I, and I go, okay, I'm not going to go in until Sam. So I get on my phone. I check my phone, looking at stuff on my phone. Just kill a time, right? First word detected. Boom! Sam's car pulls right next to me. Boom! Right? Boom! Boom! Guess what happens at the exact same time? I get a notification on my phone from my Skeleton Realm Gmail account. It goes, bing, and it goes... Shane B is the newest maniac on Patreon, $100 a month pater. Boom! Right at the same time, and I went, I looked over, I said, look. Yeah. And I looked over, you were going, yes. I was honking my horn trying to get your attention, but we were honking at the exact same time, so we couldn't tell that we was each Winnie other honks. honking. We need we were, honks. We were jinx honking. And we need a honk button. So we got out of the car and <laughs> so that was news. So that was big. So this is That's Shane. an elite group. How many members of that group are? It's a small Oh, I don't group. know. Not that many. Not that many. It's an incredible If you want to find out, you can join and find out. It's actually very secretive. We don't put those numbers. Pop now right. on Discord, his name's There's about as red as There's a secret channel in the Discord. That's right. His name is red as your hat in the Discord. And in the Discord, that channel is the only channel that I talk in. Sorry. If you want to chat it's with true. me, you got to go to Hunter, dude. Curse word detected. Who's <laughs> after that? Guys, for our first guest tonight, we got Big Squat Torn. <laughs> Big Squat Torn. Have you ever heard of somebody being short and squat? No. I sure have. Uh, what? No. Just the classic teacup. I'm catting around with you. I'm, yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Pardon me. Yeah, so when I go out to the McDonald's by my house, I see a lot of short and squat people, and that's fine. Not, not to uh, disparage squat. short and squat. Short and squat's a style, right? And people like to be short and squat. Some people don't want to be short and squat. They are, but short and squat's cool. We call it short and squat. And uh, short, oops. Uh, so short and squat style uh, is a, a style of being, uh, it's a style of physique. You go to the gym and you meet somebody who's short and squat, and sometimes they say, I've been trying to get this physique for 10 years and I'm finally short and squat, and I do, I go, dude, high five, bam. Sometimes you see somebody at the gym, they go, I'm short, not a whole lot I can do about that except for leg lengthening surgery, kneecap, kneecaps getting extended, and calves getting extended. <laughs> but I can do something about squat, I could get thin, so I could be short and thin, they call that petite. Uh, and so for those people, I go, good luck on your journey, right? Yeah. Now this is somebody I'd never heard of with a physique that's pretty big to, excuse me, not big, but cool to match. This is a big squat. <laughs> so that's tall and squat. That's not short and squat. You ever seen a tall and squat guy? This is tall and squat Woo! torn. Big squat torn. His name's torn. Lucky guy. I'm itching and sweating. Okay, you okay? Lots of super chats, guys. The number of super chats are incredible tonight, and I I'm don't know if I now, can actually read them all. I'm going to verify that. <laughs> um, well, keep, get to it. Get to it. Spiggle says, I'm pumping and I want to drink my hot mud from a mud mug now. And maybe buzz. First Yikes. word detected. Probably Potato says, moment of silence of your choice. Mug ballot pop. First word detected. Oops. Oh, gosh. Ho uh, Hokey Dokey says, I really hope I get mugged. First ah, word detected. <laughs> As a mess says, when pizza on bagel, it can have pizza anytime. I love bagel bites. 
The Folly 1100 says, please let that orb out. Schmim says, can a torn individual still pump? Great question. I'll get to that. I'll get to that, Schmim. Kupta says, Sam, you're getting big for your boots. Settle down. Hush, Kupta, hush. First word detected. Uh, Schmim, can a, can a torn individual still pump? Depends on where you're tuned. Look at this new Depends on where you're tuned. Right? Come on. What? Look at all that. Oh, great. So we're getting stored. I have a feed of all the super tonight. Jets, so we can... a long one tonight. We're going to be picking <laughs> the winner just right. <laughs> okay, so guys, after that, we got Laser Hamburger and Sideman. Uh-oh. Um, you ever been to a laser light show? They do one at Stone Mountain, a really great laser light First show. Word I've been that. Down. I love the laser light shows. They show laser uh, patterns, ge geometric shapes on the side of the mountain. I love that. Um, and so I was really pleased to hear that this year McDonald's is going to be sponsoring the Stone Mountain Laser Light Show. And not only that, but they've got a hamburger laser where all the lasers emanate from. And it's a giant hamburger made out of real meat that's hollowed out in a large shell. They use chicken coop wire, paper mache, then they cover that with uh, meat, and then they cook it by taking a butane and cooking it all around real, real methodically. It's really cool. But they put holes all around the burger, and they have a laser lights inside that pop out all different directions and fog machines to match so it looks like a steamed bun. First word detected. <laughs> <laughs> and it sprays on, it sprays all that light on the side of that mountain, which is so cool. But the guy inside the burger that controls it's named Laser Hamburger Insideman. I thought they could have come up with something more creative this year uh, for the Laser Light Show because I love some of the words they come up with at the Laser Light Show. And so call him the guy inside the burger that controls the lights. Calling him Insideman. <laughs> Not very clear. <laughs> last second. <laughs> That's right. Is Dana in the chat? Dana, where are you? We want Dana. to see Dana. I don't see any moderation. Dana, where are you? This is out of Say hello, Dana. Where's oh. Dana? Everyone says, Dana, come out. Everybody says, Dana, where are you? Everybody says, clap for Dana. Where's Dana? Forgot about it. She forgot daylight saving. Oh, OK. I guess she's not in the chat. Oh, oh there she is. Oh, she's just cleaning the tub. Guys, one of the responsibilities of the Skeletal Realm chat mod is to clean out the bathtub. And that is a big responsibility, and Dana does really well at that. What kind of uh, what kind of scrub and cleaners are you using, Dana? Bojender says, speaking of burgers, nice outfit, Doug. Can I get a fish platter uh, with some fried okra and cheese bombers and a half gallon of sweet tea? So, Bojender, I know you're kind of taking a rib at me, look like I'm a attendant at a gas station or a fast food oh, station. Oh, far from it. No, far from it. And first of all, let me say that it, our fast food heroes are some of the... I, we're, I, I I respect our fast food heroes big time. So so that's not even a drag on it. And so if I look like a fast food technician, then, then I'll take that because, you know, in a way, a fast food technician does a lot more for the community than I do as a host on this live stream. And I'm being honest about that. Uh, but second of all, no, I'm Cash's, I'm Cash's All-Star. So we'll get into that later. So Cash's All-Star uh, is not a restaurant. And you should know that. But you know what? If you don't know that, tonight is a really good reason to tune into the show because we're going to go get to that in a moment. Guys, after that, we've got Hear Hearing Traffic Light Screamers. <laughs> so these are cool. This is like um, for the... It's not for the... It's, you know, when I first heard about this, I thought this was for uh, the blind, where if you're standing at a traffic signal, uh, they, the, the box, when you press, it says walk or it says wait, yeah. wait, wait, walk sign on. It says that, you know... And this is that for the for the light. Um, and I thought, okay, that's good for, for, for blind drivers. And I went, blind drivers? Uh-oh, well, if you're driving to see the traffic light, you don't need audio because how are you driving if you're blind, right? Blind people don't usually tend to drive a car. Maybe no. I'm wrong. No. So then I realized this is just an entertainment system that the city has adopted as part of their entertainment policy, which I thought was so cool. And I'm so happy that the city of Atlanta is adopting some entertainment policies to keep us entertained. But these are called uh, the Hear Hearing Traffic Light Screamers. Screamers. They climb up the traffic pole, sit on top of the light, and they, so I've seen some of them dance almost like a jester shaking that fang and shaking their booty First to match. First word detected. <sighs> and so they have fun with it. It is guys and girls and everybody else, men and women, and they go up there and they have fun, almost like a jester, and they scream the light. <laughs> they go, green, yellow, red! And I've seen a couple of them pricks, uh, pr ooh, pricksters. First uh, so, word uh, detected. No, pranksters. You're gonna get us taking off the air. <laughs> I see a couple of the pranksters <laughs> call the wrong light, call the wrong light color, which I thought was such a prank. Which I thought was such a prank. 
<laughs> Soup says, please say hello, Soupy Nation. Hello, Soupy Nation. Dark Marker says, can I get $5 on pump three? Absolutely, Dark, we'll get that for you. Again, we, we support our, our Storm's heroes, our gas heroes. Bootay Shake says, you ring? Ah, oh, Bootay, anybody shaking that thing? Bootay, come around. Curse word detected. When the thing gets shook, uh, booty, uh, come, uh, booty chat. Yeah. T booty chats. Yes. Oh, gosh. Nice. Guys, after that, we got the dogs from downtown. The downtown dogs. Uh, there's a lot of wild dogs downtown in Atlanta running around, uh, and we support wild animals. We do uh, also support Humane Society around in some of these upkeep, not in euthanizing or anything, but First keeping them safe. Detected. Uh, and we, you know, I didn't want to fall on one side of this issue because I didn't want to get into the hot seat, but uh, I don't really think that roving packs of downtown dogs is good. I don't, some of them need their rabies shots and, you know, quite frankly, uh, they're making a mess or making a dirt and uh, urination detected. and defecation as well all over the city streets and what was once a great area. It's a lot of dogs and I like some of the dogs are sweet, but some are a little aggressive and angry and uh, maybe have rabies with foam coming out the mouth to, mouth to mash, but the downtown dogs are here to stay. If there's one thing that's sure, then the downtown dogs were here to stay. If there's one thing that's sure, they're here to stay, here to play, and they'll be here all day. If there's one thing for sure. Curse word detected. Just like a, just like a two, uh, two uh, <laughs> just like a two. <laughs> Just like a tube go, tube going down. Just like a tube go down. <laughs> Thank you for the class. After that, guys, we've got more tanks. Rachel. Rachel's a friend of mine. I actually went to high school with Rachel. Um, she's a local nurse here in Atlanta. And she does great work there. But she quit recently. And I thought, wow, she was such a great nurse at the hospital. And I thought... <laughs> Well, how come she quit? She was she always wanted to be a nurse since we were kids. And so I saw her the other day walking down the street. I said, Rachel, how come you quit being a nurse? She said, I pursued my passion of letting the community know about something that I think is really important and really near and dear to my heart. I said, what is that? She said, more tanks. I said, huh? Tanks? What do you mean? She goes, more tanks. Like blood tanks? Like tanks of gas. Or for in her. And I said, huh? what? No, oh, sorry. What's, no, go on. I just started paying attention. Go on. She said, yeah, like tanks of gas. She said, every vehicle. She said, Doug, did you know that every vehicle off the lot? Curse word detected. Every brand new vehicle that's manufactured right off the lot. Curse word detected. Comes with one gas tank. Actually, she said, how many gas tanks do you think a vehicle comes off the lot? I said, ah, 10, 12. She said, try one. I said, what? She said, we need multiple tanks, don't we? I said, yeah. Yeah, and I said, but I can't articulate why. And she said, I can help you. She said, a cow, a, a car is like a, 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 like, if a man, a man is a motorcycle, because of the slender nature and take a motorcycle put up on top, two wheels, also two legs, lots of similarity. Guess how many tank motorcycle has one tank? Just like a human would have a bowel or a bladder. Guess what? Also one stomach on a human, so uh, of a motorcycle, right? What would be most similar to a large car? And she asked me, gr grilled me. Curse word detected. And I said, a horse. She said, no, try again. I said, a, a, an ass, a donkey. Curse ah! word detected. She said, no, like a cow. A cow would be as a car, van, truck. I said, gosh, you are so correct. She said, how many stomach did a cow got? And at this point, I was floored that this was coming out of her mouth. I was floored. I was like, this is crazy. So, so she said, why can't a car have four tank like a cow? God, dang, I didn't, I didn't tell the story well, but you understand. The car? As it says, can we get permanent straw cams for dude and Sam? That'd be kind of cool, a straw cam, maybe inside the straw. <clears throat> oh yeah. Wide angle. How cool would that be? Medical. <laughs> Medical, Medical grade style. straws. Medical grade straws to drink my mud and soda. Who's after that? After that, guys, we got travel tips. Now, if I stopped there, what would you say? 
and you didn't continue? Uh, yeah, I'd we say, got travel tips. How can tips be a guest, Doug? Tip, the uh, guests have to be people or animals. Travel tips are an object, not a tip like I would tip you on tip you on a vacation, dumb ass. First what? word detected. What? So guys, travel tips. I thought that a travel tip was as uh, such as a tip that would be given uh, when you go on vacation, deciding like which restaurant to go to or where to go, <laughs> which hotel to go to, or you know a lot of different cities if you're in a historic city, which city to go to if you're going to a certain country or uh, like a historic area. This is not a tip like that. This is it. This is a tip. So these are tips. These are pointing, pointy little tips. Keep doing that. Whoops. These are pointy little tips that you can use as a co-pilot when I ride shotgun. Who rides shotgun when they go on a trip with a friend? Me. So I, I, I appreciate this because when I'm riding shotgun and I'm, I'm a co-pilot, the driver is driving, I put the tips, there's travel tips on my hand and I can jab right into the driver while they're driving if they're starting to get sleepy. And so you have to be careful and you can get a sharpness grade. So basically this is kind of a cool system how they do this. If you go down to REI or some of these outdoor outdoorsman stores, Chris, word detected. <laughs> they'll outfit you on these and these are custom. So they'll get them custom to your fingers, but they'll also, what they'll do is, have you ever seen those boxing machines with the gorbs that you hit real hard and it gives you a number? Yeah. They have a, a sort of similar thing to that. I don't want to call it a makeshift that, but it's a, it's a rinky-dink version of that, and it's medical grade, and they use it at NASA, so it's not really rinky-dink. <laughs> but what they do is they have you go in, and they have you uh, do about 100 different times your uh, effective strength in that regard. And then they gauge that, and they decide how sharp your tip should be. So if you're, a, if you're a child, for instance, and you don't have a whole lot of punch, they'll make your tip super sharp because it's just science, mathematics, and physics. If somebody comes up and stabs you, not very hard with something uh, super sharp, it'll be the same as somebody stabbing you super hard with something really dull. It equals so out. So the children and the elderly would have sharper? Extremely things? sharp. They're sharp as you and ever they tend seen. To have, they actually tend to have more people driving them around as well. Yeah, so, but, uh, but my point is it doesn't matter because it equals out. Do you understand that? It equals out. It doesn't no. matter. Right. So mine, I have a very strong, uh, what would that be? Your uh, lat, a uh, lat, latissimus. Yeah, lat. <sighs> Uh, and maybe a little bit of a peck in there too. So I'm very powerful, so mine are extremely dull. So anyway, th check them out, they're pretty cool, travel tips. After that guys, we got naked users. These are naked users from Atlanta, the Naked Net System Adherers. Now I thought this was super, super dirty when I first heard about it because when you start talking about nudity in the net, oh. down in South Carolina. <laughs> If we could just lower that or just not have, uh, yeah. You could just lower that. I just don't want to hear a voice, you know. Vocals I'm trying to talk, are really so. uncommon. They're really, uh. Yeah. <laughs> when you start talking about nudity in the net, um, that gets really, really dirty. Really, detected. really quick. So I don't want to think about that. That's super, super dirty, and this is a family friendly show. So I said, get them off the show. We don't want naked users. Because if it's anything to do with internet use, anything to do with naked, no thanks. It's a family show. But the booking agent said, no, you're not getting this, Doug. I've explained this to you a hundred different times over the course of six years that I've known you. I said, huh? I said, yeah, I explain this to you every weekend and you forget. So apparently she's been explaining this to me every weekend, but she said, no, these are naked users from the Naked Net system. Now, this is in the privacy of your own home with the webcam off. And there has been some controversy in the Naked Net users <laughs> community. Uh, with their, A lot of them are accidentally turning the webcam on while they're doing this, but... <laughs> It's the webcam is off, right guys? And I, and I, guilty as charged, I tried, I tried this system and what I did is I just took a piece of duct tape and taped my camera just in case I accidentally, accidentally turned that webcam on. So there's no way it's an accident by the way, but we won't get into that because I'm, I side with the, anyway, whatever. And it's enabled for Yeah, so let reason? me just explain it. So it's, it's in the privacy of your own home, using the internet like you normally would, going to Google, going to Wikipedia, YouTube, Chris, some detected. of your favorite sites, checking your emails, maybe even taking a Zoom call with the webcam off and you're new. So it's a freeing way to enjoy the internet and be uh, comfortable in your own home and be totally new to swap. First word detected. And so if you're going to join that community and be dirty and try to turn that webcam on, because they'll do group Zoom calls and those webcams have to be off. You understand that? Yeah, why do they allow you to turn it on? Well, because I want to give you the freedom to be able to do that if you want. 
I mean, they, listen, they're not going to come to your house. And what do you mean? The, the people or the, the community is going to come to your house and disable your webcam? I mean, you can click it on if you want. No, I just mean on the site, they shouldn't allow that feature to turn on the webcam. Well, there's some controversy with that. Some of the programmers on is the site accidentally, or? well, some of the programmers who created the web, the web devs accidentally put a feature in there that allowed that. And so we could, we could get conspiratorial, but... Just a lot of ham... Yeah, and it uh, just so happens that a lot of those web devs were some of the individuals that were accidentally turning it on. So it, we can yeah. get into that got more, but fat, I don't want to talk fat about Fat-fingered users, fat-fingered programmers. First word detected. Yeah. Nude program. Uh, Acid says, uh, let's touch travel tips. Curse word detected. <laughs> Gronkster says, George Bush doesn't care about classic style gore. Curse word detected. Wow, that's bold to say. We don't know that. We could check Wikipedia for that. But it's, it's possible that that's true. That's, it's with, a huge if true. I big stand if true. with him on that one. Guys, after that, we've got frog jumpers from Kangaroo Zoo. <laughs> Frog jumpers from Kangaroo Zoo. <laughs> Jumping like a frog at Kangaroo Zoo. <laughs> frog jumpers from Kangaroo Zoo. <laughs> so who here has done a frog jump? We used to do frog jumps all the time as kids in the backyard, uh, in the playpen. We'd always get in the playpen and do frog jumps in the sandbox to match. We'd go right from the playpen to the sandbox, right down the slide to it, and we'd jump from sandbox to playpen, right down the slide, right up the slide. We'd do a frog jump up the slide, down the front stairs, right into the jumping bed, and right into the sandbox, and right into the playpen. So we used to frog jump all the time as kids, just squat, do a frog jump, spring, -y 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 -y. with a big spring, uh, with a spring frog jump that we'd love. But I never in a million years, as a kid or as an adult to match, would ever, ever, ever have the audacity to do a frog jump at the Kangaroo Zoo. So the Kangaroo Zoo's in town. It's like a circus for kangaroos. Uh, it's a circus, but instead of uh, clowns and circus ringleaders and elephants and b elephants on a ball, it's just kangaroos uh, doing a lot of different tricks. And um, there's kangaroo magicians. There's like a whole group that do a magician and they do like an acrobatic magician trick, which is really cool. So I totally uh, I support going and checking out Kangaroo Zoo, but some of the local protesters have been doing frog jumps there to make fun of the jumpers. And it's one thing to protest the Kangaroo Zoo online or even get a classic picket fence sign right out front of the Kangaroo Zoo to say, hey, that, this, this stinks. But to do a frog jump when you already got tickets inside, pretty dishonest, disingenuous to come in there and do a frog jump right in front of the kangaroos. And just to rub it their face that the frogs have jumped to. Gosh, right the kangaroos are doing a frog jump to match. These guys, the audacity of them to do that on top of the kangaroos, or in front of I mean. Who's after that? Guys, after that, we got Diamond Passers, the Fecal Pressure Men. Now, I didn't know this until earlier today, but diamonds are, are, are coal that's been smashed with pressure. Huh? Nothing. Diamonds are diamonds are, are coal that's been smashed with pressure. And so, actually, you could, you could create diamonds with the human body if you have enough abdominal strength. And so some of these guys at the gym that you see with the six pack abs that are extremely strong, probably not strong enough, but probably getting there. Uh, but there are a, there is a select few group of extremely cut and powerful men on earth who have extremely cut, I'm talking cut lean abs that are like washboard abs. When they talk about washboard abs, <laughs> these guys abdominals are insane. And I'm not saying anything about any of the rest of the body, upper body, lower body, calves, quads, and any of the legs, ah, nothing to write home about. Bicep, tricep, you know, everything up top. Ah, deltoids and the, nothing to really write home about. And the traps are just kind of weak, but the abdominals are washboard abs. Massive. So these guys got together and said, look, we, we have the ability to put blood pressure inside of our bodies in our digestive tract after we had something to eat. So much so that we're, um, well, not to be dirty, but we're defecating dust. Curse word detected. And so they said, how can we put this to use? How can we make some money? And they said we can start eating coal and pressurizing those into diamonds with our abdo abdominal strength and passing diamonds. And I, I got a question. Doesn't that hurt? Gosh. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uh, uh, we should start whistling it. when we uh, clap. I know. Whis like, we should uh, whistle like more. Sports. We should whistle more. <laughs> Rafe says, can I drink a variety of fluids from the mud mug, or is it mud only? We've had this question before. Did Rafe ask this question before? Rafe, are you doubling up on this question? This because, question. Um, the <clears> answer <throat> is you can, absolutely. You can drink anything out of this mug? Anything you want. It'll hold any type of fluids. I wouldn't put anything like... Um, Let's try to get a good If you drink. have a substance that would like burn through steel, like uh, uh, something that would coming out of Chernobyl, you know, some sort of radioactive substance, that might eat through the ceramic. But other than that, I mean, if it's if it's lava, for instance, that might melt it or just disintegrate it. But uh, any type of liquid that's at a normal pressure and temperature would be capable. It would hold that. Felix says, I saw some swag. Got really blade. I see other day. Went into a Doug like fugue state. Wow, that's cool. We have a lot of great rollerbladers here in Atlanta. I watch them come up down the street and on the belt line, zigzagging all around and having so much fun. So we do support rollerbladers. And I, I like the four wheel ones as well. Right? What do you think, Sam? You like four wheel? Four wheeled whips? Uh, four four wheel roller skates. Oh yeah, the the, the classic skates. <clears throat> four wheel roller skate kind of reminds me of a horse's hoof, like a big horse hoof. No, I'm if a blade four, guy myself. If all four wheels were like one hoof, and those things are heavy. I my mind when I see four wheels on a roller skate, my mind imagines it's one big gorb. Next time you see a four wheel a four wheel roller skater, what do you want me to do? Imagine that those are just one big gorb, and it makes it look kind of cooler. All right, and well, they can this. step like big boots and gorbs. And the roller blades are like shiny, like a blade. Live Chatter says, if Jorm knew me, do you think he'd tell me if he likes spaghetti? I think he would if he knew you, absolutely. <laughs> Finn Perret says, Doug, do you like spinning in circles to get dizzy? No, heck no, that makes me feel sick and dizzy to page. Who's after that? Guys, after that, we got large snakes from Reptile Zoo. Now, if that wasn't enough, who here is scared? Guys, with goo! Oh no! <laughs> so, I'm, I, I don't like snakes. Uh, they kind of freak me out, scaly. They've got sort of an odd demeanor. I can't figure them out. They're mysterious and strange, and I consider them dirty. First word detected. I wouldn't eat the meat of a snake. I consider it unclean. First word detected. I don't like a snake. Now, not not to hate on snake lovers or snakes. I understand they're an animal, just an animal like all the rest of it. But I don't like, they kind of scare me. Um, so that's enough for me to say, I'm out. When I see snakes on the dock, this is my reaction seeing snakes on the dock. I go, I'm out. I'm out. So <laughs> how'd you get drawn back in? So yeah, so no, I'm saying it gets worse. Oh. So I said, I'm already not into that. And at, right next to that, it says, with goo. So these snake handlers guys, they brought big buckets of goo too. And I don't want to get slimed and gooped. Curse word detected. Ah! 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 I don't want to get slimed and gooped, especially not when looking at one of my biggest fears, aka a snake. I just don't want to do that. Is that okay? I just want to have a normal week. I just want to have a normal week. <laughs> So hush and quit bringing the snakes in the goop. That's what I got to say to some of the booking agent and some of the zoo keepers and snake keepers that are here tonight. Live chatter says, Curse do you think if detected. Jorm told me if he liked spaghetti because he knew me, what would that even look like? Um, well, it might look like him and you sitting together uh, <laughs> down at a ca on a table and just talking about that. And he would say, uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, hey, I know you pretty well. I like spaghetti. We don't know everything about Jorm, let alone what we're it would Jorm look experts, like. Live chatter. We're not Jorm experts, so we really don't know, but I could give you my, my educated guess. How many, how, how many of your Jorm interactions occur while you are asleep? Oh, oh, 99.9%, .9%, absolutely. And then uh, the rest are emails. <laughs> so guys, we've got, ooh, this is gonna be really cool. The Hamster Ham Hole Wrangler. Backflip oh, Ham's yeah. Inventor. So I thought this was kind of odd, because Remember, who's a hamster fan? I had one, I had two when I was a kid. Oh, you did. You know what their names were? Uh, what's that? Doctor Evil and Mini Me. Oh my gosh! I thought you were gonna say Doctor Evil and Austin Powers, and they were worse no! enemies. No. <laughs> That'd be like a cat would be Austin Powers in that situation. Oh my gosh! Yeah, because the, because Austin's way more powerful. He killed them. He's way more powerful. Yeah. 
Austin is way more powerful than Doctor. My cat killed That's those actually pretty profound. As well. Okay, so know. guys, I'm a big fan of hamsters. I love hamsters, and I love hamsters that do tricks. And I had heard about these hamsters that do backflips through a ham hole. So take a ham hock, stick a hole through it like a tunnel, and these hamsters will jump through. Sometimes they'll put them on fire, which I don't say, that. don't do that if you're gonna try this with your hamsters, but you can train a hamster to jump through that hole. Now I knew, cause I'm kinda, I'm kinda hot on the hamster forums. I'm, I'm hot to the First news. Detected. What's your username on there? Hamster. <laughs> I was early. That wasn't taken. That was no, available. No, I was early. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was early. There was only about a dozen users and it was just like Pam. They all assumed Hamster would be They had taken. some interesting names. Yeah. Laser Guy. <laughs> Laser Guy's a big one in the community, but I'm just Hamster. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Hamster. <laughs> but yeah, so I knew that they were doing tricks. <laughs> I knew that they were doing tricks to the hole, right? And I knew that they were doing backflips to the hole. I knew that we're at... so. People detected. who follow science and technology, it's like, what point are we in technology? We can get to the, the we can get to the sun if we're at that point. For instance, for instance, now we can land on the sun, right? We're like, that's where we are, space technology. Talk about computers. We've, you know, we're not quite at a quantum computer, personal quantum computers, but we can do certain things. We can solve. We can do uh, AI stuff, whatever. Um, I'm real hip to where we are with hamsters. <laughs> Yeah. I'm real hip to where we are with hamsters. So, so you're looking at what's next. So I know that they can do backflips, but this is really what threw me off. This is what I'm trying to get to. Um, the hamster hole wrangler is what he calls himself. And he says that he, he calls himself the backflipped hams inventor. What? Did you now, verify I don't want to be, well, no, no. I'm just saying inventor. He invented a backflip hamster. You don't invent that. You kind of, you can train a hamster to do that. You can become, you can, you can, I would say the better word is discovered. That's like saying you invented, uh, you know, you invented landing on the sun. It, you discovered it. Yeah. So I took, I take issue with how he characterizes himself and that's, sorry, that's being mean, but I am kind of big in that community and I, you know, I just had to say something or else some of my buddies online would really rip me after the show if I didn't say anything about that. So I'm basically doing it for them and just kind of, you know, it's okay. <laughs> If he had a new invention to launch them through the hole, the trick hole, then maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, new invention to launch with the trick hole would be pretty crazy. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Felix says, how to play a round of 22 Gorb Slap. <clears throat> I don't know that one. Uh, Gandalf says, does Live Chatter Gorbulate, Gorbulate more hardcore than your arm? I have no idea. You guys ask me tough questions that I can't answer. Trash Image says, we have a ham hole in Seattle, but it's pigs only. Well, that is cool. So those are probably a pretty big piece of ham. Pigs only. Live Chatter says, would Phaser, if he knew Jorm, and Jorm knew me, would he agree about it all? I, live, I don't know. Live, I can't tell you. I don't know, Live. And Live says, and would he know Jorm? I don't know, Live, I don't know. Live, I don't know. Probably Potato says, I wonder such things too. Gosh, I've got the giggles tonight. Ah! Little things got me giggling. Stop it. <clears throat> okay, after that, guys, we've got uh, Utopia from my wildest fantasy. Curse word detected. No, not dirty. Oh, hush. So this is a Utopia from my wildest fantasy. I fantasize about a world where we all love each other. And imagining my Utopia, imagine a Skeleton Realm Live Utopia. Whoa. We should make a movie called Skeleton Realm Live Utopia. Skeletopia. And we can imagine, but we're going to get some tips and clues tonight. After that, guys, we got poison sticks. And non. And non poisoned liquids to cure the poison. You ever had a poison dart stick into you and get shot at you with a blow dart? Yeah. First word detected. And I bet you were so thrilled when you saw the special elixir that was handed to you to cure that poison. The anti-venom. And I bet when you drank that elixir and you enjoyed getting that poison cured, you were elated to sign. <laughs> Got me red-handed. You were I elated to find that that poison cure <laughs> took away all the negative effects of the poison dart, right? You got me. Well, then you're in luck tonight because we have sticks that have been dipped in poison. Super, super sharp sticks dipped in poison. And then... 
Best of both And then worlds. we're gonna drink the elixir yeah. and help us. A little this, a little that. Who's after Drink this? the elixir and help us. Rafe says, if Jorm taught me his mysterious ways, would live chatter ask questions about me? I, I think yes. I think that is one I could say yes. 100%. One hundo. You're doing great with us, Super Chats, Doug. There are a lot. Thank you. We're getting a lot. I love it, guys. This is such a great system. There's we so love... many because of the super, the uh, sweepstakes, Doug. It, that's what I'm saying. That's Ima what I'm thinking. The sweepstake is really pumping those chats. First word okay, detected. Imagine, imagine getting one of these in the mail. Who do you want to If win? you haven't super chatted yet, you better. Who do you because want to win? Because you're not going to want to miss the opportunity to get that, huh? Who do you want to win? Oh, I don't pay, I don't play favorites. I was hoping that, uh, you know, I was hoping that Shane B would be here and he could win. Uh, he's not in the chat tonight. What? To pay it, pay it back where he paid, pay it forward and then give it right back to Shane. AV says, watching with one ear headphone attached to computer and another to my phone to observe the defense. Do you understand? Ah. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. I've seen that stream being around the web of a different, it's called stereo. People are really going nuts over stereo these days, Doug. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? Um, yeah, so wa so watching something with your eyes. One ear in, one in, one ear, that the well, other. I have a question. Watching something with your eyes, is it this, Is that how you get the sound? No. What do you mean? So if I, so watching something with your eyes, so that's how you get all the info. It's like, yeah. it's like an HDMI, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, that's what I thought. So I didn't understand that. Not sound. No, yeah, well, your eyes are getting everything. No. Well, then how do you get the sound? I don't get it. The, hol the holes. <clears throat> You got him last ew, week. First oh, word detected. Who's after before you go to the bathroom? Okay. Next, guys, we got Yapping Dog Dogs. The singing canine plus toys from Richard's Gifts. I love Ooh. Richard's Gifts. I love Richard's Gifts. Dude. I love Richard's Gifts. Dude, I love Richard's Gifts. Have you been to Richard's Gifts? Yes. One of the preeminent gift shops here in Atlanta. We love gift shops. We love toy shops and gift shops, don't we? Yes. We actually went to Richard's Gifts for um, giving each other presents. I didn't want to spoil that, actually. Sorry, I had to change my answer. I won't reveal. Who's after that? Yes, yeah, so we now? love Richard's Gifts. and some of, the, some of the new plush toys they have there are so cool. And these are the yapping dog dogs. They're singing canine plush toys. Shaped like a dog, sound like a dog. Might as well be a dog to me. Ow. After that, guys, we've got, uh, 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 <clears throat> Oh, this is really cool. We got the mechanical shirt inflation systems. I love playing with these toys. I got new mechanical shirt toys. Uh, it's a system toy, netting toy that goes underneath the shirt that's almost like an exoskeleton, but it's inside underneath the shirt. Exoskeleton for the body, but inside skeleton for the shirt. Does that make sense? In between the shirt and the body, there's a lot of space. You wouldn't actually think. But on a microscopic level, there's tons of space between your shirt and your body. Anyway, yep. that's where this system fits. It's a netting, it's a mesh netting uh, with a cybernetic uh, core and a cybernetic, uh, 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 what would you say? Uh, it's almost like a neural system on top, like a skin, a neural system, and a it's a mesh. smart fabric. It's a mesh, yeah, absolutely, it's a mesh. Uh, it's smart a cyber, mesh. Uh, absolutely, it's a smart ne uh, mesh. mesh. So this is really cool. You wear this underneath your shirt, and it'll inflate the shirt in various ways. So if I want to go a couple centimeters all around, so let's say I want to go a couple centimeters right here on the gut on the side, I can go right on the gut like this, but I, otherwise, if I want to go a couple uh, just centimeters all around, I can get it up with my smart app, and my iPad app, my computer desktop app. I can key that up. I can even do it just from my emails and put the coordinates of my body and my shirt, put the coordinates of where I am located and then the coordinates on the shirt of where I want that to be inflated or deflated. I can also get it super tight on my skin, really tight, almost like spandex. You have not felt the tightness unless you felt this because this is even tighter than spandex. So this gets super close on a micron level, but it also inflates up to about five, six inches. So you can get inflated as well. Bravo. <laughs> This song sounds like Steve Jobs inspired, sounds awesome. doesn't it? Sounds like sounds uh, like a Steve Jobs ringtone, doesn't it? Yeah, I think they were inspired by their ringtone. They said they wanted to construct a song after, but who's after that? Um, after that, we got uh, popped loved ones. These are loved ones who have totally popped. Gandalf, oops. Trash says my dog wanted to say scarb. She's three years old. Oh, happy birthday! To, uh, I don't know if that's her, if the dog is birthday. Trash, is it the dog birthday, or you just say three? But happy birthday anyway, if it was before. Gandalf the Black says, eyes is just ears, but on front style. Please advise. Uh, <sighs> 
Eyes is just ears, but on front. I I, I can't. Um, if I keep if I keep trying to understand this, it's gonna I'm gonna actually be sick and get hurt. Yeah, that's uh, that's not. So the I best have to way stop. To, I have to stop trying to think. That yeah. just kind of complicates the issue. Yeah, I can't understand. We really appreciate you trying to help out, but that's really not helping. Yeah, thank you so it, much. It's making it worse. So Pizza.gov says, "Hey guys, just got here to this random live YouTube channel. Does anyone else really uh, enjoy niche comedy shows? Because I'm live, I think you guys would like it. Uh, not a comedy show. It is a talk show about sports, uh, fitness, travel, all of the above. Yes, sometimes we employ elements of comedy, but not a comedy show. But hey, thanks for being here, pizza.gov. Uh, classic, a classic roamer that we love. Hey, Visa, Sam doesn't understand I'm rocking double B tooth. Double Bluetooth? Oh, okay. Rafe oh. says, my sister wanted to say, go, she is 63 years old. Oh, congrats, Rafe. Congrats to Rafe. Dartart says, Dick's gifts for a nickname Best style. Squid Mini Head says, I'm sorry for making fun of SRO last week. Nothing has changed. What? That's okay. We always forgive you always, all the time, forever. After that, guys, we've got the morning time sunlight director from the edge of the world, aka Edge of Cliff. Now, I didn't realize that this is how it worked. When the sun come up in the morning, directors in a classic movie chair with a big megaphone to mage tell it to from Edge of World. Cliff, have you ever been to the cliffs? Yep. Uh, and there's a uh, director up there commanding the sun. Is that what you're saying? Yes, the sun commanders. Okay, directors. The part. final saw on a solar brigade. Okay. In, in. On the edge of the world's cliffs. <laughs> Pizza.gov says, sorry, my mistake. Please forgive. Thank you, sports me now. Thank you, Pizza. <clears throat> Guys, after that, we've got... Awareness Center for my elongated shoulder dweezils. Oh. The Awareness Center for my elongated shoulder dweezils. Now, we a couple of shows ago, we talked about letting the show get to our head having our ego pumped a little bit and I'm trying not to let this one go to my head but guys I am a large enough public figure now and we, we have a lot of followers we have a ton of followers online on the net on all of our accounts so we have dozens and hundreds of millions of followers and so yeah it, the secret got out I got shoulder dweezels I got they're elongated and okay and it's not a big deal it's cosmetic guys I'm not it doesn't hurt me uh, it's really nothing about it. Lots of people have elongated sh shoulder dweezels, but I do appreciate that we're getting the word out about it. Uh, and so, yeah, they started an awareness center just for my elongated shoulder dweezels. And so this has got, it's almost like a museum to me, but mainly to my shoulder dweezels. Photos of the dweezels. Uh, they've even got some samples that they got from my doctor, which I'm looking into the legality of that, but I actually don't mind. As long as I could get some, some payment for it, some money would be nice. But this is an awareness center about my shoulder dweezels, but it's also an awareness center just about shoulder dweezels in general, and uh, particularly elongated dweezels. That's so brave of you. Would you like to show them off? Sure. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of high-res photos at the center. If you guys want to head down to the center, it's, it's in downtown Atlanta. Let's clap. Yeah, you can check it out. It's right next to the aquarium. Applauding his bravery every week. He's showing off his bod against all That's odds. That's right. Probably Potato says, Billy Jorm made the New York City pizza's song to match. Huh? Uh huh? Yes. What are these blanks? Oh, never mind. It's a clap. <coughs> After that, guys, we've got scrapers. The Kalamazoo, Michigan's worst scrapers. Oh, no. So at first I was a little bit scared. I didn't want some of the worst scrapers from the Midwest in here because Kalamazoo, the state of Michigan is known for having real bad scrapers. Uh, I used, I went to downtown Detroit once about five, 10 years ago, and I got scraped over and over and over and over with pencils, pins, pieces, nothing too serious, not like a knife or anything, but just getting scraped, scratched. Everywhere I went, a scraper would come up and just scrape me. And it was good natured and they were laughing and I laughed at the time too, but later I, got, I thought, man, way too many scrapes. And so these are some of the worst scrapers in, in Kalamazoo, which apparently even worse in Detroit. I didn't realize that Michigan's got a lot of scrapers in it, so they're coming in tonight. And I thought, keep these keep these fellas out of here. I don't want to talk to a scraper. I don't want to get to know a scraper. I don't have anything to say to a scraper. 
but these are they're they're working on trying to quit so i said ah gosh I, I've been there, man. I've been I've been to rock bottom too, and uh, you know I'm excited to bring in somebody who's who's who has a positive attitude, saying, you know, I don't want to scrape no more. Curse word detected. We're gonna bring him in. Pop! And we flew him down here on the show's budget, and that was very expensive because it was an entire an entire flight. Damn. An entire flight. So they gave us a deal on the whole plane. American Airlines gave us a deal on the whole plane, so we just bought the plane uh, for that trip and the round trip. So. How are you doing? What's up with you? What? <laughs> oh, man. Do I look tan? What's going on with you? Me? How are you doing? I'm okay. Really? Just got back in town. Are you sure? You all right? Yeah. I just want to check up on you. What's going on with you, man? Oh, nothing. Are you doing okay, dude? Yeah. All right. Are you sure? Yeah, well, hey, you tell me if you weren't doing all right. Mm. All right. Yeah. Guys, after that, we've got... <clears throat> now, this is huge! Get some intense music for this. <laughs> Guys, we have a PowerNet 2.8 Incorporated 16-ounce ball. Outwork, outplay. Can you believe we got a hold of this? Oh, my God. Look at that. Hold it. Guys, this is the power net, 2.5 inch, 16 ounce, out work, out play, guys. Massive. Wow. So what's this all about? <clears throat> so power net was really nice to give us this ball. Um, now I will say to the haters, they say they got too many balls on the show, too many orbs, too many scorbs. Guys, I have, we have not even scratched the surface. Um, if you're not familiar with the pa with PowerNet, they do some incredible work with some of these great uh, units. Um, this is nothing against Oarsmen. We are supporters of Oarsmen. Uh, Oarsmen is the tried and true, guys. The classic uh, style orb is the preeminent ball, <coughs> preeminent ball or orb on the market. And I would say PowerNet is in a totally different corner of the market. Not a competitor at all. PowerNet's for modern. Uh, way more different applications for this. This is for work and play. The Oarsman Orb is, is for is for leisure. Now I would categorize leisure as in between work and play. If you have work down here and play over here, leisure somewhere in the middle. If you have a Venn diagram, somebody could make that Venn diagram and put leisure in the middle. That's where leisure is. So if you want, so if you if you, so if it it's so my point is not in the same ballpark, guys. So the power net, out work, out play, the 2.8 inch with the 16 ounces. They do have a 12 and an 8 ounce that's also in the 2.8 inch. What do you what say you we give this fucker a bounce? Let's go. Let's do it. Curse Ready? word detected. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> you do the honors. Bounce it. All right, guys. You ready to see how this puppy bounces? It's going to go high, so I got to go. Wait. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Bounce it. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Okay, guys. You hear that? Vape Sully says, power nut ball. It talks? No, it wouldn't talk. Come on. Don't be silly. Come on. You're so silly. Some of our fans are so silly. Oh, shit. Oh. Curse word detected. Ow. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, those are our guests tonight, but now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes. So if you're here for the guests and you only wanted guests and you want to leave now, then just freaking leave. Curse word detected. <laughs> just kidding, stick around because at the end we're going to say who won the freaking mod. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so we talked about the sweepstakes. That is massive. Stick around to the end. Like the video. Subscribe. Get on the Patreon to get an additional hour of the show at the end. We're not even close to being done. Um, and I wanted to start off the show tonight with something special. A story from my youth. Uh, that I enjoyed reading as a kid, and finally they came out with a, uh, I think it was the 20, it's the 20 year, right? Not the 30, 20 year, the 20 year anniversary edition book print of the classic story about Rab Rabbit, one of our favorites here at Skeleton Realm Live. So we wanted to do SRL Story Hour. Uh, we, we wanted to plug this book because it's just, a, you know, a lot of the children's books now, you know, say what you want about them uh, and you would be right if that was a negative thing that you would say because many of them are bad. So now back in the day, we had good ones. So we want to read from Rab Rabbit here. So I want to pull this open here, Rab Rabbit. <clears throat> oh, OK. 
Okay. All right. So you guys ready? I'll just read a little excerpt from Rab. So if you have children, this would be a great time to bring them in. Finally, a little bit of, uh, you know, we're, we are an all ages show, but uh, it's nostalgia and style. Uh, so style. <clears throat> it was a day. It was a young day with the sun bright on its brow drops. Brad Rabbit began pumping after exiting his wonderful home hole. Sir Dorsum stood quietly, patiently counting the links in his chainmail armor. He approached uh. Rab Rabbit's hole, decided to take a look. Rab Rabbit, come out! He yelled. Rab Rabbit came out and crawled around. Okay. Okay, he's asleep. All right, guys, I need it. Oh, shit. All right, guys, he's asleep. Okay. So, sorry, I have to do this during the show. It's the only way to really get him uh, how I need him to get some of these measurements I need. Mm -mm. So, we get a temperature read on him. He's at 92. Mm -hmm. Some of the measurements there. We've got him. Sorry, guys, just bear with me. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got this is, Oh my god, he's gotten bigger here. Mm -hmm. so, so, mm -hmm. Wow, that's a foot. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go through this. We're gonna get him here like this. Not bad. Okay. That's perfectly well. That's good. Wow, that's impressive. Nice. Let's do these readings here. Get the tape measure. Oh yeah, let me just get so, I like to use a tape measure on them, guys. See so if you're ever doing this, a tape measure is a good way to just get a more accurate reading on some of the limbs or more. All right, so that is 15 or 16. That's 16. What's we'll I say? 16. And around we got 17 there. All right, let's go like this. It's 36. Wow, 36. Okay. Move this. And that is pretty level too. Hey, dog. It's Rab Rabbit. What the hell? What the hell? What the? The beloved character of the book that you were just enjoined to create. What the heck? To go to sleep. Rab? But I hear what you know. Quit doing it. I have advice for you about testing his levels. What's that? What's dog, the advice? Stop. Calm down. Hey, quit it. Stop testing him and doing tests on his body. It's fine. Just relax. The show is gonna be fine. It doesn't matter what his levels are. Just relax. You can measure him all you want. It doesn't matter. I want you to just relax and enjoy the show. Sam's levels are nothing of your concern. I thought it was- It's fine. Just relax. Quit trying to find out his levels so much. Quit trying to see his levels. I thought that was important. You can't do anything about them anyway. So okay. So just relax. Yeah, you're right. I thought it was important. I thought his levels were important, but it's, I guess you're right. I mean, I sometimes I feel like I, if I get his levels and I get his readings, I'll have some sort of more control over the show. Like if I know every measurement, I'll be able to do the show better and I'll just be a better host. But really, it's. His levels don't have anything to do with me. I think you're right, Rap. <clears throat> All right, we got 80 degrees. Wow, you're running hot. 92. Dude, wait a minute. 92. I was dreaming the whole time. What are you talking about? What were you doing while I was asleep? I had a crazy dream what about Rab Rabbit coming to tell hey, me hey, you, to quit, measure quit my, your levels. Quit, quit moving around. I had a dream that showed Rab telling me to not do you. You had a, you had a dream? <laughs> I had a dream telling Rab told me to stop measuring you, but I was asleep the whole time? Your dream's boring as shit. And it sucks, uh, so quit telling me dreams. No one likes hearing dreams, we all know this. Watch my dream on my iPad! What? Come see my dream on my iPad! What are you talking about? Show my dream. Show my dream on my iPad. What are you saying? This was my dream on iPad! What? 
That wait. Yeah, dude. I don't remember this. A rat came to my dream. To measuring, you told me to stop. Look, dude. Turn up the volume. Let me see here your dream. What's that? What's the advice? Oh, calm down. Hey. See, oh, rat my came God. to my dream. Oh my God. That dream? Yes. Was badass. Okay, now you see. Oh. <laughs> that dream was badass. Your Can dream we was clap? Badass. That dream was badass. That dream was badass. That dream was badass. Okay. Touche says, Doug, can you say hi to my friend Greg for me? Hey, Greg. Dark Tart says, is Sam microchipped? Fur-bearing trout says, wake up, Sam! Oh my god. We are here. Oh. Okay, guys, so here's a little bit, I guess you'd call this housekeeping. Would you call this housekeeping? Oh yeah, this is a, kind of a house update it's on a update. dirty house, kind of like if you were to, rather than clean the house, you update on how the house is needing and cleaning. It's needing of cleaning. Yeah, so we have an update on uh, the morph situation. Um, Let's turn that music off. Um, so, guys, the morph situation. If you're if you're uh, if you're not been keeping up with the morph situation, morph was the Memor TV executive who gave us a pilot deal for episode 100, which is also episode one. Memor, uh, we found out that he was not actually working for Memor TV. Uh, he had been fired from them in 2016. I found some documents pertaining to that. And um, we thought we were kind of done with him there. I mean, honestly, I've been holding out hope that possibly we could work out a deal with him anyway, even though it doesn't work for me more TV, because he's still an important guy in Hollywood. And um, I'm just, you know, I don't want to burn a bridge. I don't want to burn a bridge with Morph. He's a cool guy. Yeah. He uh, gave us a chance. He gave us a chance, so we should give him a chance as well. Yeah. Even though the checks did bounce. But anyway, guys, uh, at the studio this week, we noticed that when we came in uh, to do some work a couple days ago, uh, the studio had been... I wouldn't say breaking into, but somebody came into the studio and rustled stuff around. And a lot we, of footprints. A lot of footprints. We took we took notes of what was there and realized nothing had been stolen until we realized Tease yeah. Ball was gone. So guys, Morph borrowed Tease Ball. We know Morph was here. Um, there were a lot of clues left behind. There were small pictures and notes that he left behind. We trust Morph. We, tr we trust so, Morph. Yeah, this isn't a so problem. Like, I just want, we just want uh, to talk about it because it's kind of cool. He's a little like, do you, would you say he may be disorganized? Yeah, I would put him as sort of disorganized. Um, he's he's kind of bordering on he's, con confusing to me. I'm not really sure what Morph's all about. Let's he's put it transient down. as well. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of. I didn't realize he was in Atlanta, but the, the way we knew is because he did leave printed out pictures of himself in the studio, uh, yeah. selfies behind the desk. He's and not stuff a like secretive that. guy. That we can <laughs> say that. No. So anyway, um, t today this morning we got something in the mail from Morph. Uh, and it's from Burbank, so it's it's apparently he's back in California. So we thought, why don't we do like an unboxing video? Let's That's do, let's awesome. open it on air and see what it is. We don't know what Morph gave us, but we know that he did take T's ball. Uh, and we don't mind Morph Bardo. We, we're, you know, Morph Bardo. Morph Bar. He'll give, he'll give it back when he wants. So Morph. anyway, we got this from Morph. As you can see, that is from Morph. Read it and weep. Yeah, so Morph gave us that, so we're going to open it and see what it's all about. Open this up. Hope it's Dean's ball. Uh, yeah, it's more DNA bag stuff. Oh. Uh. Ew. Oh my God. D another DNA smell bag. It Why would we need another? Um. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a gizmo. He's talking on it. about his DNA bag. Guys, he's sending us. There's something metal. Yeah, we still. Okay. There's what? What is this? Metal. Uh. Oh. No. Yeah. There's like a. This is like a. I think it's. I don't know if that's poop or not. I think it is. First word detected. <clears throat> it's, it's like, is that blood? I brought DNA glove system. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks like there's a piece of metal. On, it's a USB. There's a USB on it. Yeah, let's pull that out and take a look at that. <clears throat> okay, let's check that out. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I thought we weren't going to get any more DNA bags. All right, I got it. <clears throat> yeah, let's Hit just... Hit four. Check. Okay. I can't... Uh, all right, let's pull it. See how there's like a USB on that? Oh, and, yeah. yeah. Here, let's. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's a great idea. So and there's a USB on that. So should we plug that in and see what's on it? That's got to be a drive. Morph is kind of interesting. He does clues and stuff. 
So let's plug it in. There's got to be something on there. Morph wouldn't just give us a regular. All right, I'll plug it in. And you know what's cool? Morph trusts us. We trust Morph, and Morph trusts us. So he wouldn't be sending us his DNA bags. I know some people think it's kind of weird. What's the wide? What number is it? Three. I know some people think it's kind of weird, the stuff that Morph has been doing with his DNA bags and everything. And um, some people might think it's kind of gross, but um, we trust Morph. Morph trusts us. And honestly, him sending us the DNA bags shows that he trusts us and shows that it's possible that in the future we could get some sort of deal again. That's true. So let's see what's on the USB drive and check it out, right? Yeah. All right. Opening it up here. Wow, it's really small capacity. Okay. Uh, it's got a video. Oh, it's just a video. Yeah, it's an MOV. And, um, okay, you want to okay, watch it? Sure, let's play it. Let's play it. We haven't seen this. There's a video MOV file on this USB. Oh, no, it's MKV. Oh. Uh, let me, I need to, uh, okay, no, I don't need to. Uh, no, okay, yeah, let's no, play it. Can we play that? Drag it in and play it. Yeah, all right. It's ready. All right. Let's morph up to. Um, hey, what's going on? What's your name, little fella? I'm a tease ball. Yeah. I already knew that, but I asked you anyway. Wow. <laughs> you suck. So, yeah, it's been really cool around here. Um, basically, I'm a phase right now. I need to get together a lot more DNA for the DNA bags. Yo, stink. Uh, we're going to start mailing them out more and more. You guys stink. Uh, so we're really just in Screw that phase up. of development, just getting the God. DNA bags ready, getting them ready to mail out. So that's been really Shut fun. Shut Yeah? Uh-huh. Buzz, I'm a tease Oh, ball. yeah, definitely. Shush. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Screw off. Yeah. Yo, thanks. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I've been doing laps around the house. I uh, did 15 or 20 today, this morning. Might do about 20 or 30 tonight. Shut up. We'll see what we can do. We'll ball. see what kind of time ball. we got later to do a couple uh, more rounds around the house, a couple laps. Yo, shut up. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, what's that? You yeah. suck. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You suck. Yeah. Shut oh, that's up. awesome. Yeah, totally. Okay, so oh, was he talking to Tease Ball? Was that? A, I think he misunderstood. Um, uh, he thought maybe. So more of Tease more if you're watching Tease Ball's a toy. Um, Tease Ball is a toy. More uh, so. I don't know if that was meant for us. It just sounded like he was having a conversation, but yeah. it, he was doing laps around the house, so he's getting exercise and. But he recorded. Yeah. He if he recorded the conversation that so us. that we could hear, hear it. it. Right. But that maybe it's like a safe Tease Ball safe. That's what it is. Oh, he's showing the tease ball. Okay, well, thanks, Morphe. Yeah, uh, um, thanks for taking care of tease ball. But uh, tease ball is a toy. You know, we'll behave. We, I, I don't want to. We got it for I'm free, not, too. I'm not here to lecture Morph. Morph, do what you want to do. And thank you for the DNA bag. And uh, hopefully in the future we can work with you in, in whatever capacity. We, you know, we, we, we love we loved working with you for the pilot. And we'll just keep, you know, maybe uh, trying to stay in touch uh, with you, Morph. And, and so get some great laps around the house. And um, if, if I, I would ask if you want to send more DNA bags, maybe just... If you you know we don't we don't we probably don't need more DNA bags we we we've got enough you know we've got the ones from last yeah. week you got um, yours yeah yeah so we got these there's one there we got them everywhere so we, we really don't need more DNA bags more but um did you see that he had a dollar on the desk yeah what did you think of that well I thought listen dude I mean he he he's still we're in the hole for 450 bucks for the pilot so it would be nice if he could I mean he's obviously got some money he's got a dollar so every dollar but counts morph yeah so but morph. No hard, no hard feelings about the pilot or anything more. And we're still, you just want to remain friendly and everything. So, <clears throat> okay, okay. So this is pretty big, guys. This is probably just a, a quick segment, uh, but that well, that I wanted to go over um, on the show. We use a lot of stock images, and recently we've uh, d disabled our stock. Uh, image account because we got hooked up super hardcore with me more tv's stock image site it's called me stock uh and it is in beta i know what you're thinking hey i use stock images all the time i'm a graphic designer and i make posters all the time all week i get paid to make posters and i'm on uh i'm on uh, stock image sites all week long and i never heard of me stock well that's because it still uh is in beta they haven't opened it up but we've got beta access to all i mean we're talking hundreds of thousands of images on me stock and we got full access to it in exchange for advertising it to you right now so we want to give a huge shout out to me stock but we didn't just want to give a shout out we wanted to show some of the stock images uh, that me stock has to offer so sam i tasked sam i said sam pick out about four or five of your favorite hard to stock choose. images so hard to choose. that showcase the diversity of the different types of stock images that you can get on me stock so right. sam you Ready? picked five incredible images Okay, here's, this is 
really great. Wow, that's lights. interesting. Yeah. Um, this is a, another angle that you can get. Huh. And I love this one. So this is uh, really showing you the kind of the breadth <sighs> of of images on. There we go. Cool. And now that that loop. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to pick. It's hard to choose. There's tens of thousands. That's it. That's it. And. Uh, well, you said to keep it short, so I thought. Yeah, but that's it. They're all the same. Not, no, they're not. They're different. Look, you can see it. I have a crossfade. You can see the difference there. Look, are you looking? Look, look at the monitor. Listen, come here. Look. Come here. They're not the same. Ah, Shane, come here. What? I don't want to fucking lose my cool right now. And blow up. Hold on, hold on. Hush up! I don't want to hush and lose my cool right now. I'm shaking. I told you to get different pictures from different parts of the site. That's number one, okay? Different pictures. They're different. They're not. Hush! Shut up! Look. Different types of photos from the different parts of the site, right? Stop! Stop. I don't want to see it! Stop! You're listening! You're listening! You're not talking right now! That one has a bump. Shut up! And not only that, I told you not to put those. Specifically, I told you that I didn't want those on there. What? We yeah. had hundreds of thousands of... I thought you wanted... This. Shut up! Just... These were separate in a separate folder. These were okay, tagged. Okay, hold on. Shut, shut, shut. Let me just calm down a little bit. Do we have paper towels? These were tagged in a I spilled folder. my soda. Do you have paper towels? Use my show doc. Oh I'm just gonna be wet. The whole thing's gonna be fucking wet for the whole Curse show. word detected. Okay. Sorry, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on. Oh my god, okay. Just take it off the screen! Oh, I thought you said moved it. Take it off! Next slide. So, Next. guys, a little bit of a lighter note. Sorry. <laughs> I'm calming down. I'm feeling better. I'm calming down. Okay. You gotta label them. Better. Okay, no, don't worry. Let's not. Let's not ever bring. Can we promise something? Yeah. Let's not ever bring that up ever again for the rest of our lives and Down never low. think about it ever again. Nice. Okay, guys. So a little bit on a lighter note. Um, elephant in the room, and a lot. Some of the super chatters earlier mentioned this. Uh, you can notice that my outfit's a little interesting tonight. I am wearing the Cash's All-Star outfit, and I know some of the Realmers who are maybe already familiar with the Cash's All-Star system uh, probably are going, okay, he's wearing a Cash's All-Star costume. There's no way he's a real Cash All-Star. There's no way he's Cash's All-Star. He's, he's wearing the Cash's All-Star system like for Halloween. He must have bought that on uh, Amazon as a, as a fake Cash's All-Star uniform. Guys. I am Cash's All Star, so I am Cash's All Star. I was selected. Let's hear it. Let's hear I, it. That's right. I was selected this week to be Atlanta's Cash's All Star. Atlanta's the only place that's doing this right now, but I have been selected as the Cash's All Star. So any type of kiosk in town, I can use to get my points. I can use to redeem my points. I can use to get. Uh, to rack up my points and redeem at all the uh, uh, kiosks that are available for the Cash's All Star system, and only me. So if you're if you're if you want if you're if you're curious about Cash's All Star system and you want to get on some of those kiosks, I'm sorry you're gonna have to wait in the line, which is actually it's randomly picked in some ways, but then it's also I had to interview. So it's a long process. If you want to be Cash's All Star after me, get in line. Uh, but. It, I can share my experience and talk about some of the kiosks I've been going to, and I have been racking up tons of points. And I thought, okay, there's no way I can explain all this just sitting here and talking and yapping and yapping. So Sam and I, I talked to Sam. Uh, he said, dude, let's get together and let's put together something, right? Yeah, you got to see it to believe it. It's, you can't just put together a presentation. Right. So, so we got together and we shot something. We went down to Kroger and I just wanted to explain if you didn't already know what the Cash is All-Star system is about uh, and introduce myself as the newest Cash All-Star and just kind of walk you through some of the great kiosks in Atlanta that are available for the Cash is All-Star system. So let's play the video. Okay. Yeah. Cash is All-Star part of the Cash is All-Star system. What's going on guys? Doug here and I'm here to explain to you about what it really means to be Cash is All-Star. I am Cash is All-Star this year. I'm super excited to get into it. Let's go around town and check out what it means to be Cash is All-Star. Cash is All-Star system. 
I'm Cash's all-star. <laughs> and who'd have thought? I get to be Cash's all-star, right? And so a lot of people think being Cash's all-star comes with a lot of responsibility. And that's wrong, actually. That's wrong. Uh, what it comes with is a lot of perks. Uh, uh, uh. Hey guys, we're here at Kroger, which is a gold mine for some great participating kiosks in the Cash's All-Star system. Now, being Cash's All-Star, I flock to some of these places that have a ton of kiosks all in one spot, and I think almost every single kiosk here at the Kroger is a participating kiosk in the Cash's All-Star system. So me as Cash's All-Star, I can utilize any of these kiosks I want. Not only can I gather points and gain points, I can redeem them at any of these kiosks to match. So I'm in heaven when I come to the city center here because I can use any kiosk I want to get my points and redeem my points points to match. I am in heaven. <laughs> We're here in Atlanta at the MV Express kiosk, another participator in the Cash's All-Star system. You can gain points here. You can also use points here too. And that's only if you're Cash's All-Star. So if you're not Cash's All-Star, you can't gain points here. Sorry. So guys, this folks, this is for me. Guys, we're here at the Red Box here, a participating kiosk in the Cash's All-Star system. You can gain points here and you can use in a match. This is a certified kiosk where you can redeem points, not only redeem, but you can also gain points here too. So this is both. This is redeemable and gainable. And so I would use this kiosk like I would use any classic kiosk. This is a water dispenser, but the Cash's All-Star system does work here. And so I, as the Cash's All-Star, can use this kiosk to both gain points and redeem points. So that's really big and that's only in Atlanta. Hey guys, we're here in Atlanta at the Blue Rhino kiosk, another participating kiosk in the Cash's All-Star system. Now I am Cash's All-Star, so if I wanted to, I could go ahead and use this Blue Rhino and I would get points and I can also redeem my points here too. And that's only Cash's All-Star. So if you're watching, you're not Cash's All-Star, you're not gonna be able to gain points or redeem points at this kiosk or any other kiosk. Hey, maybe later I'll redeem some points here and I'll uh, use my points here to match. Maybe later I'll come back and enjoy it. I am Cash's All-Star. <laughs> so I was on cloud nine all this week as Cash's All-Star gaining, 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 and redeeming points. And I had such a blast. It's feeling it's feel, it's so good. Part of the Cash it felt so good to be Cash's All-Star. Oh gosh, Sam, I have been gaining and redeeming. Any questions for me? Because I think, I mean, guys, any questions for the All-Star himself, AKA me, right? <laughs> Trash Dreamer says, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be Doug picture on the cash kiosk? That's epic, yes, yes, so they will put my picture up. Is your mic off? My? <coughs> uh oh, your mic went down. Check, 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 check. check. Finn Perez says, is there a kiosk that you can leave co-hosts at? No, absolutely not, it's a, it's a single uh, user system, and since I am Cash's all-star, uh, I'm gonna be the one uh, gaining the points and redeeming the points to match. Um, let me get that check, audio check. issue here. Chat. Oh. Hey, don't worry about it. I got it. Uh-oh, so you need just some dead batteries. So yeah, being Cash's All-Star has been incredible. I've been racking up tons and tons of points. I actually talked to one of the, um, whoops, I talked to one of the managers uh, for Cash's office, for the main office, and they said that I am probably one of the quickest All-Stars that they've ever seen, especially in Atlanta. In Atlanta, it's hard with traffic to get around to get up those points because a lot of the kiosks are far apart, but I think what they didn't realize is I use that City Center Kroger because there's multiple kiosks there. So I've been gaining so many points and redeeming them too. Finn Perez says, is there, oh, Dark Marker says, how many points do you have and what's the dollar value? I got a lot of points. I got to check my account. Um, probably, what, like five, 10, 18. I got about 20,000 points. <laughs> yeah, about 20,000 points. Rafe says, we're so proud of you. Dingus gifted five memberships. Is your, is it work, your audio? Yeah, yeah. Nope. Check. Check. It still doesn't work. Check, 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 check. Check. It does. There we go. So Sam, what do you think about that? Isn't that cool that I'm a Cash's All-Star? It's so awesome to be Cash's All-Star. Yeah, I was playing some sad music. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just wanted to hear some sad music. Well, what's wrong, dude? You seem really upset. What's going on with you? Come on, cheer up. I just... You made it look so cool. Hmm? Huh? You made look... You made being a Cash's All-Star so cool. 
Well, yeah, because it is cool and I'm loving it. It's awesome that I get to go redeem points. It's so fun. I just, it just made me want to do it because of how oh, you did on. it. come on. You're upset that you can't go redeem points and also gather them and redeem them at the same kiosk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you really that upset, man? Come on, get over it. I'm Cash's All-Star, not you. Why, it's not me. <sighs> Dude, I hate seeing you so sad and I hate seeing you so worked up about this. I want to... Well, go on. I want to be Cash's All-Star. I knew you were going to ask that, and Sam, I have something to tell you. Some of the managers at the main office, uh, right after they told me that I was one of the best uh, points gatherers and the quickest of all time, especially in Atlanta with all this traffic, yeah, uh, they said they have a special perk What's that? for me, since I'm so quick. They said that I can share the All-Star status. <gasps> And I said, how is that even possible? I said, no, that's not physically possible. They said, why don't, you, why don't you count the number of hats and shirts you have? And I said, one each. And they said, okay, now do some, now do some mathematics. And I said, that's two. They go, bingo. And, oh I, and, then it, and then it dawned on me. What do you say? Yeah, let me cue up you some wear happy the hat, music. You wear the hat and I'll wear the shirt. And we can be catches all start together and we can start redeeming points. Oh my and God. And I have something even better to tell you, dude. What? Dark Marker asked a moment ago how many points you got. I had 20,000 points. And, I'm, and I've am i racked those up. I haven't been redeeming much all week. Oh, I knew wow. this moment was going to come. 20,000 points, and guess what I can also do? Mm. I can transfer you half of those points. Oh, my gosh. So now we've each got 10,000 points, Sam. And now I think this would be really cool. What do you say we tell the Realmers right now how we're going to redeem our points and in what way? Okay. <laughs> what are you going to do with your points? <laughs> What are you going to use yours for? Well, I'll tell you. I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> Slide to that next graphing. I'll tell you, brother. All right. I'm going to get. I'm going to use five thousand better point terminal. <laughs> I'm going to use five thousand better point terminal level ups, and five thousand all star cash points. Whoa. Yeah. And so All-Star Brigade, Michael's Brigade, the managers told me that All-Star Brigade and or Michael's Brigade is uh, part of that. So I actually can enter into that if I want. That's a, that's a capability. I, now, if I would have been under 5,000 points for the All-Star Cash Out points, I wouldn't have been able to go for the Brigade or Michael's Brigade. So this is big. <laughs> and so, and here's the big thing about this. Any kiosk. You see that video, all this kiosk? Red box. Any kiosk? Blue Rhino. Any kiosk. <laughs> Blank star. Yes, yes, yes. Coinstar, Coinstar is one we didn't see. We didn't see. Oh but my Coinstar God. is a, is actually a, is a fan favorite. So Sam, burning question, dude. I <laughs> I gave you ten thousand points that you didn't even have to rack up. Now you can just redeem. What are you gonna do with those points? Oh, uh, with this new caps perks. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be getting eight thousand star cash quick up terminal zone level ups and two thousand cash is all star perk points. What with do you big say? stars. With big stars. Yeah, with big stars. With the star bonus. <laughs> Look at now, that. Here's the bigger question. Here's the bigger question. Which, here's a bigger question. Which huh. kiosk, which kiosk, right? Which kiosk are you going to redeem those at? Because you can do any kiosk. Mm, I don't know. You made Redbox look pretty Red sweet. Redbox, nice. Nice choice. Dude, I'm so happy and proud of you, man. <laughs> and I hope that this gift, uh, I hope that this gift makes you happy, man, because you deserve it. I'm you sorry really I do. played sad music <laughs> earlier. That's okay, man. And, 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 uh, and, 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 you know, and, 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 I'm just hoping that you're so happy, dude. Uh, I am. <laughs> so what better way to share the cash all-star status than to just do just that, to share it? Woo! Hat swap. <clears throat> so guys, we got some super chats coming in. Jerry Kid 72 says, great show, boys. This is your father. Thank you. Oh, hey. Thank you, father. I, uh, I over in you, I, oh, I over in you says, I heard being Cash's all-star who redeems points for others could be spent on sporadic beasting sessions. Really? I didn't heard that. That's cool. Uh, That's possible. I need to talk to some of the managers at the Cash's main office. <laughs> 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 Luke says, will there be an interstate Cash's all-star tournament? Oh my gosh. You guys always ask me questions I can't answer. I don't know. You have to ask, you have to talk to the Cash's main office. <laughs> uh, Rafe says, we're so proud of you. I might have read that. Uh... Luke says, and why not, Sam? I don't know if that's in reference to that, but it been before you received the Cash's All-Star status. Luke, that might have been, sorry. There that might have been before he received the status. <laughs> Man, 
trash says, wait, you can use cash points at Michael's too? Absolutely, yeah. And so they do have a number of kiosks at Michael's too in some of the fabric areas where you get the reams of fabric. Uh, they'll have a kiosk First there that you can use detected. as well. So enough about that. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, all right. Oh, crap. What's wrong with you? Oh, I got to get the stapler. Can you get me the stapler? Uh, you need staples right now? Yeah, sure, I need okay. it because I got to staple this. Okay. I can't reach it because I'm wired in. What, can you go well, get I'm wireless, staple? so that's okay with me. Uh, Sorry, guys. I need the stapler really quick. Just keep them entertained. Uh, I'll be God, you know, I spilled my right soda back. all over myself, so I'm going to be sticky tonight. I'm going to have to get in the shower and bathe off right when I get home because I spilled all my soda. <clears throat> so he's getting the stapler. Sorry, guys. I hate to do this. It's a little bit of a... Uh, some some real housekeeping here getting this stapled together thank you sir we got the stapler perfect so let me go ahead and staple this real quick i got to keep my staples super super tight <clears throat> oh what the sam sam are you j huh? are you joking dude you're supposed to put the staples in the stapler are There's you joking dude Oh, there's none. Oh, boy. Are you joking, dude? There's none in there? This was your job. This is one of your tasks. We have it on the whiteboard. This is a Sam task this week. You got to put staples in. How else am I going to keep my staples tight? Are you joking, dude? Yes, I am. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> Do we get you guys? What a great gag, right? Well, yes, guys, I am joking, dude. Was, we kind of threw you guys off. We want to do something really great tonight and celebrate the classic character, the folk hero, joking dude. This is one of our great historical segments here on the show. Uh, so why don't we go to the next uh, slide there? Just lining up those. Yeah. Lines. So we wanted to celebrate joking dude, the cowboy crack up, the great American folk hero. Some say he was a real man. Others say he wasn't. Some say he was a digital fantasy that was invented in the modern age. Gosh. So we wanted to s tell some of our own cowboy crack-ups. You got any, Sam? Huge influence. Huge influence So let's on tell him. some cowboy crack-ups. What, you got any, Sam? Oh, well, um, what, uh, not in front of me, but, uh. Uh, it, uh what do you call a three-legged cow? Ooh, I give up. Uh. Roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Got one to go. Go. What's, what's the difference between a uh, cactus and? Um, I'm just making uh, it up. I don't. I didn't bring my. Uh, I didn't bring my book. I, I, how many cactuses does it take to dust off a cowboy's a saloon? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I give up. Uh, uh, Three's three's a company. <laughs> Whoa! What, what the, the hell? What? What the heck? What was that? What is that? Whoa! What is that? 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 First word detected. Okay, something's happening, guys. Are we still First live? Did we lose the stream? Are we live? Are we live? First word detected. Okay, what's happening? Oh my god! What happened? What is it? Are we li are we still live? What happened? Did we lose the stream? No. Uh who is that? I hear something outside. Yee -haw, it's whip crack again. Oh, what? What? You boys better come out with your hands. No, dude, it's whip cracking men. They don't quit their whip on you. Oh, boy. Dude, come it's whip. Come on, boys. I got you surrounded with my cyber digital horses. I'm a digital cowboy, and I have digital horses to match. You boys better come out soon, or I'm going to spank you more. I'm gonna crack your whip on you and spite you. Oh, dude. Come on out, boy, and get ready. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's whip crack Ned. I oh, thought he was just a man. Do you remember earlier when I said. <laughs> Do you remember. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Do you remember earlier when I said that the joking dude was just a digital myth? Yep. Yeah. This leads, lends credence to that, but also proof that he wasn't in the same way. Whipcrack Ned is a digital legend of a cyber villain cowboy with cyber horses to match who wants to inflict evil upon all kind and honest settlers on the West. In order to get him to go, what should we do? You know what I think, Doug? Huh? 
I think in order to get him to go, um, we should read cowboy jokes. Yes, great idea. All right, Ned, why don't you listen to this? Uh, so, Sam, what do you, th you got any jokes? Yeah. yeah. See, the ones before were so weak. I don't know if they're going to get whip crack Ned to <clears> be <throat> too scared. Okay. Uh, what do you call a happy cowboy, Doug? Uh, what? A jolly rancher. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, now you read one here. Uh, ha ha how do you get a... Uh, wh which... Uh, wh uh, where do you... Where do, where do Viking cowboys go when they die? I give up. Y'all holla. <laughs> Take that! What do you think about that, whip that kid? Wait, what? Huh? What? Oh, come on, horses, we got to get. That really took it out of me. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, guys, so last week we had a performance from a 2002 Pontiac Aztec performing Cloud Debussy's famous seminal work, uh, Claire de Lune, which is a great uh, song that is great to hear via horn. We've heard it from piano and orchestra before a million times. We're tired of that. So we loved hearing the 2002 Pontiac Aztec play that. And I thought, wait a minute. When I saw that, I thought, wait a minute. Put me in, coach. I got songs to play. Oh, yeah? You're going to do a musical performance? Well, I wanted to perform the Yes, I am going to do a musical performance. And I thought the car, the horn, was such a unique way to perform uh, music. What would be a unique way to use my body to perform music in a unique style? And I thought, uh, everybody's heard me jam. I already jammed a lot of times with my guitars on show. I did that once. I jammed my guitar. <coughs> but I thought, let's do a toe jam. Oh, wow. So we'd like to perform a toe jam, and by we, I mean me. So uh, I've got a camera inside my shoe right now, and I've got a microchip controller that's a MIDI controller that's going to help me control uh, MIDI and also other digital instruments that I have in GarageBand set up right now. It's actually a pretty advanced uh, product. Maybe talk about it on Pater's podcast if you're a gearhead. But I've got it inside of my shoe right now, rigged up. I've actually been fiddling with it and playing with it the entire show, uh, warming up, getting my toe warmed up. But tonight I want to play for you guys an original jam uh, inside of my, with my toe. And can we get the, we have a live feed of my toe in the shoe. We'll start it when the song starts, right? Yeah, so um, I also just set up the camera so we could actually see the outside. So I'll, you'll see the outside and the inside. All right. So I'll get going here and let's, all right, you ready? Yep.
do a fade out fade too? Fade it out, yeah, I'm fading out. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh! Okay, so yeah, woo! All right, I'm proud of myself because on the rehearsal I did a couple mistakes and then that one was pretty good. That was perfect. I didn't spot Oh my so gosh. Incredible. Yeah, oh. woo! So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I did, and so before anybody asked, yeah, I did train a lot for that. Um, I did some rigorous training. I had an awesome coach that helped me through that. And um, yeah, so so thank you. <laughs> I give myself a hand. <laughs> you should. <coughs> So, Sam, is it that time of the night to reveal a new tradition here? Hopefully, every show will do this. The SRL 103 Sweepstake Chatters Grand Prize. And we said the grand prize earlier was a special oh Skeleton Realm mud mug, just like you see here. That's a value of, a, I think, $12 plus shipping. That might be $15, $16 even. Absolutely so that's incredible, a, that's value. incredible value. Getting that for free. So, Sam, how are we going to do this? Whoever wins... So every single... Um, but I'm saying, how are we going to get their address and everything? Well, um, maybe we can ask Shane, uh, who <laughs> did it. So, uh, no, we'll... Uh, we'll have to get this verified through Discord. So if you win, just message, just say in Discord that you won. You have to won. sign up for Discord if you win. Join the Discord if you win, and if you're not in the Discord, and your username has to match. Yeah, and you have to provide... Uh, and, then I'll, and then you can DM me, and I'll... Uh, send, and I'll uh, send it to you pronto. Let's see. We so have let's pull a name out of a hat. So do, we, do we need to pick a number? Yeah, we need to pick a number. So Dana. Between between uh, what? We're gonna have Dana pick the number. Probably like one in thirty. One in. I guess. No, let's get what? Thirty. Yeah. Okay. Five hundred. One in five hundred. I don't know. You. You determine the range. I don't care. <laughs> well, yeah, but okay, fine. I don't understand how it works. You give give a random number, we calculate it, throw it into our algorithm, and then we. Uh... Okay, Dana, pick a number between one and five hundred. This is gonna be massive. This is the first winner. Actually, last week was the first winner. Who won last week? Uh, it was Keeling it. Keeling it won last week, so this week. <clears throat> Waiting on that number, 462. All right. So we'll go in here, input our special number here. All right, so All right. we've got our new number that we've... All right. Oh, there's some people entering. I guess we'll have to call it. All right, that's... We'll Turner, call it, yeah. Turner we'll, just slid in here. Turner just slid in, but that's it. No All more right, from now this we're doing point the onward. Random, uh, doing the random calculation here. All right, let's see here. Uh, let me make sure the list is loaded. All right. This is this is a nail biter, guys. He's counting. He's doing a special counting system. Boom. I don't see it. Acid mask gets a free mug. That is incredible. So congratulations wow. to Acid Mask. Acid might have already bought one, but now he's getting another one. So Acid are that's winning what I thought. tonight. I was trying to think if, if this is insane. he's already an owner of one. Yeah, that's what. You, yeah. So that's. But uh, it doesn't matter because you can never have enough of these. So guess what? That's just the luck of the draw, guys. Acid Mask gets the mug tonight, so he's gonna have a hundred mugs. I saw that he bought ninety-nine yesterday, so he's gonna have a hundred. So that's incredible. Congrats. Acid. Shane Beast, says, congrats, Acid, for 50 bucks. Is Acid even here? Acid left. That's... Are you kidding me? Well, maybe we'll see Acid in the painter's pot. I'm sure he'll catch this if, he, if okay, he's not he's here. Okay, already got a mug and he's not present. But, um... Well, guys, next week we'll do it again. And exactly. Maybe we'll it's we'll gonna think be of a different week. product, maybe. And maybe I'll be making new products. I can make, make a mug that said, I am the 104 winner. Maybe I won't. But, guys, anyway, thanks for joining us tonight. On the show, uh, 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 Groovy says, how do I apply to win? You gotta send a super chat. If anybody that super chats on the show gets into the random number thing and then we count it, we put it in and we we'll scroll up and count it. Incredible. So guys, join us on Peter's podcast. Five bucks a month gets you an additional hour of a podcast we do after the show, which is just a laid back swagger in our podcast studio over there. If you don't want to do that, join the Discord. Follow us on Instagram as well, TikTok, all those other things. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. And we'll see you next week for episode 104, which is 
the two year birthday of the show. So the two, two year years. birthday two next year. Two, can you guys believe it? Two years. Look at that. So next week we're going to be celebrating that. So you don't want to miss that one. And we hope that you guys have a great week. Thanks.